Uh, we want to talk to a member of Congress because Congress is focusing today specifically on the finances of Al-Qaeda. Two hours from now, the House is holding this hearing looking exactly at uh, where it stands as far as financing from these terrorist organizations, trying to choke off that financing, uh, cutting, cutting them off from that cash flow. So Pennsylvania Congressman Patrick Meehan is the chairman of the Subcommittee on Counterterrorism and Intelligence. Congressman, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Brooke. Great to be with you. Uh, let's just talk about where we are today, the status of the financing. Uh, are they crippled by any sanctions? How, how does that stand? Well, no, they aren't crippled, but what has happened is it's made it very much more difficult for the terrorist networks to move the money so they become much more creative. Hmm. And the essence of our uh, hearing is to talk to the experts, the folks that designed the programs in the first place from Treasury and FBI who found the ways to choke off the money in the first place, to learn how they've changed their tactics and to see what we can do to prevent the money flowing not just to the terrorists, but you also use it to identify uh, who the networks are. To your point, sir, on creativity, let's look back. So 2001, obviously that was 9-11. That cost $400,000 to execute. Uh, 2005, London attacks, 15000 That was totally self-funded. But then you got 2010, the, the cargo plots that were thwarted. That cost all of $4,200. In fact, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, AQAP, bragged about how cheap that was. Um, Given the fact that with the smaller bits of money, I imagine it's tougher for, for you all to try to track, how does that change how we track these terrorist groups and, and then, of course, stop them? Well, the, the, the use of the small sums makes it much more difficult, to be sure. And the, what they're trying to do is get us to spend large sums to protect against it. But what we're trying to do is follow the, the schemes that are being used. Much like organized criminals, you're seeing a lot of laundering that takes place. Things that happen in, in, in the trade of, of goods. Uh, we're seeing a lot of activity of money moving through uh, the illegal narcotics trades. So with the, the schemes that are being used are what we need to be able to identify as they have changed their tactics. Go ahead, John. C Congressman, um, how has the death of bin Laden affected the flow of money to al-Qaeda? And secondarily, what foreign governments are still most involved in getting money to terrorist organizations in your estimation? Well, the most critical organization, of course, is Iran, and it's the support of its proxies like Hezbollah. And there is evidence that the sanctions are making it much more difficult for Iran to have that excess cash to send around to folks. And, and, and bin Laden, uh, al-Qaeda, I think the days of his being a financier were early on, but the uh, ability, as was identified, to move small sums of money or to be able to uh, now place, pre-place individuals in in, in positions and, and then have them use things like debit cards that now make it much more difficult to f uh, see financial transactions are the kinds of things that allow them to, uh, to, to have you know, boots on the ground, so to speak, and make it much more difficult for us to identify who they might be. You mentioned the debit cards. They're using unregulated cash couriers in and out of these Persian Gulf countries. The cards kind of like the debit cards, but they're issued anonymously. Um, so if, it, if it's harder to track larger sums of money, and you mentioned they are getting creative, then, then I imagine that is part of the biggest challenge. And, and how do you stop them when, if money isn't the, the obvious way to do so? I think the experts will tell you you're never going to completely stop them, but you can make it much more difficult. And that's one of the first objectives. The second thing is to make it so that there's not quite the resources for them to be able to move. And that's the part of the Iranian sanctions. And the third place is when they do move it, to follow those schemes so we can identify who they are. Oftentimes that's the critical thing, to know who may be uh, potentially participating in a plot, following those, the, the, the stream of those, uh, you know, not just communications, but following the kinds of support that may be part of that, that conspiracy sure. gives us a chance to break it apart before it happens. Congressman Patrick Mann, uh, good luck with the committee hearing happening two hours from now, as you mentioned. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Hey, thanks so much for having me. Still have this morning here on Starting Point. He